Max, Max, you need huh? to decide. No, all of you. Let's do it then. 2019 was quite a year for war robots. We kicked things off with pilots in May. They helped us to establish war, factions, and characters. July update brought us operations, basically more items to every home. And finally, this December we unleashed Titans. They brought back the slow, methodical, high-stakes gameplay that war robots were known for a while. What's next? New robots and weapons. Let's address special editions first. They got quite popular and it's great news. It's fun to play around with different outwardly concepts and see what else classic robots and weapons can become. We will keep exploring those possibilities with new, special and limited editions. Then, in 2019, we came up with a new role system based on the extensive data, showing how robots are usually played. After analyzing that data, we split robots in five roles. Brawlers are robots that focus on dealing damage in close range. Tanks protect and make cover for their teammates. Saboteurs are swift, agile robots that are very good at beacon control. Snipers are slow, heavy and work well with long-range guns. And lastly, support robots. They focus on helping their teammates by fixing them, for example. We used this framework to design the latest set of robots, in which Behemoth was a sniper, Phantom was a saboteur, and Leech turned out to be a great brawler. That approach was a success. Each robot has now found its place on the battlefield. So for the next set, we stick with the idea by preparing a new support and tank. Next year, we plan to release two new maps. You probably saw Factory on the test server. Here's how it will look when it is finished. Expect it somewhere during the spring. War Robots got tons of new content last year. Time to look back at the older system. Next year, we put heavy focus on improving legacy systems, such as MK2 Enhancement we updated in November. There are many things that were taken for granted five years ago, but don't make much sense now. For example, why iOS and Android players can't play together? That's what we are going to address first. Merging the servers in two steps. First, you will be able to meet people from other platforms in combat. This should result in better and faster matchmaking. Late in the year, we plan to also make joint clans and communication between platforms possible. Silver payout algorithm also leaves many questions, so the new system will be fully built on Honor, which we have reworked with a great success. Each Honor point will bring you a set amount of silver. This way, first, the silver payout will be more clear. And second, you will get silver for all the actions that push your team towards the victory, not just damage. We see this as a more fair way to reward players for their skill and tactical thinking. But rewards are also set for the overhaul later in the year to give you better, more intuitive chess progression. The feedback system will let you report bad sportsmanship, cheats and any other kind of abuse by sending us a note in just a few taps. Alright, let's cut it here. There is so much more we want to talk about, but we'll get to that later. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and Happy New Year, Commanders!